I recently had a System76 Gazelle Professional laptop. It ran Ubuntu. I used it for everything for about a week because it was a loner. You may have seen some of the other videos that I did regarding the hardware and the software on the laptop. In this video, I'll show you around GIMP, which is an application that you can get for free in the Ubuntu Software Center. It is a photo editing tool. Let me show you. I have two JPEG images here in my pictures folder. I am going to click on one and drag it over to GIMP, which is in my launcher. And here we go. The photo opens up in the center with two panels on either side of it. Let's go through the panel on the left. It is called your toolbox with your editing tools in the top half and tool options in the bottom half. The first three tools here are selection tools. You can select different portions of your image with these. Then you have the fuzzy select tool that looks like a magic wand. This will select an area of your photo using color. Let's try clicking on this bright pink flower here. It selected the part of the flower that had similar color. To unselect this, I'm going to go to edit undo. Last, there's select by color. This one's similar to the fuzzy select tool, except where the fuzzy select tool selects area of contiguous similar color, the select by color tool selects similar color anywhere in the photo. Intelligent scissors select is next, then foreground select, two other ways to select areas in your photo. Then there is the paths tool. There is a color picker tool, the zoom tool, the measure tool, the move tool, the alignment tool, the crop tool, the rotate tool, scale tool, shear tool, and the perspective tool, the flip tool, the text tool, the bucket fill tool, the blend tool, the pencil tool, the paintbrush tool, and the eraser tool. <laughs> you have the airbrush tool as well and the ink tool. Then there's the clone tool. I use the clone tool to hide things. For example, a corner of the reflector that was on my speed light made it into my photo here. So I'm going to use the clone tool to get rid of it. I'm going to copy a section of the white background and paste it over the stuff I don't want. My options show up here. I want to make the brush bigger, so I'll use the scale slider. Directions come up at the bottom here. I need to hold down the control button and click wherever I want to copy. Then it shows you the source while you're pasting. Then you just paint it on. Beautiful. Next, we have the healing tool. This is similar to the clone tool, but a little less extreme. It takes the surroundings of the area into account. Anyway, that's really good for small imperfections like this vein on my forehead. Again, I'm gonna make my brush bigger. Actually, even a little bigger. It says what to do at the bottom like it did before. So I'm going to choose a source by pressing control while I click on the source area I want and then paint over the vein and see how it looks. The next tool is the perspective clone tool and then the blur or sharpen tool. Like with the other tools I use, there's information at the bottom of the photo on how to use the tool. Then there's the smudge tool and the dodge and burn tool. My instructions at the bottom of the photo are to click to dodge and control click to burn. Here are the foreground and background colors. Remember that this section down here are the controls for each tool. Now for the panel on the right. The first tab is layers you can create a new layer right here or create a duplicate layer here. The layers would be listed here. Below is all of your brushes, patterns, and gradients. Next is channels, and then you have your paths, and then your history. You can go back through your history and undo things here. Now for the menus. First is the file menu. It's pretty standard. This is where you can save files. The edit menu is next. I already showed you that you can undo here. The select menu is next. You can select or deselect different areas of your image here. Then there's the view menu and the image menu. Here you can change the size of your image or the canvas you're working on. You can merge layers here or add guides. Then there's the layer menu. You can add layers or delete layers and you can mask here as well. Then there's the colors menu. You can adjust the color balance here you have some options and some sliders to play with. You can adjust the saturation, the levels, and the curves. Then for the tools menu, you can get to all of your tools here. The most commonly used ones are in the toolbox that we went through, but everything is in here. 
Then there's the filters menu. You've got different options here like blur and enhance. This is where the red eye removal is too. Lastly, you have the windows menu and the help menu. Okay, let's save our photo. Let's go to the file menu and save a copy. I'm doing save a copy instead of just save because I want to keep the original as is. Let's just add an A to the end here and hit save. Now I need to decide on the quality, which I'm just going to leave where it is. And we're done. GIMP appears to have everything that you might need to edit your photos, and it's pretty easy to figure out and to use. On top of that, GIMP's website actually has a really good user's manual available.